explains. Companies pay millions to advertise on athletes, so some college players thought, why not send out our own message? They grabbed Sharpies Saturday and scribbled this on their armbands, towels, and athletic tape. The letters APU, all players united. 28 college football athletes from at least three major Division I teams staged a polite, unauthorized protest for NCAA reform. Players really wanted to, to find a way to be more visible and vocal and, and to show unity. Ramogi Huma, a former UCLA linebacker and voice for reform, said it was the athlete's idea. Money's going to go to the places it always goes. And we're talking about salaries for coaches, athletic directors, conference commissioners, NCAA headquarters. Um, luxury boxes in, in, you know, in, in the stadiums, but they're not being directed to take care of players' medical expenses, to um, invest in concussion research, brain trauma research to help protect the players that are generating the money, um, and even education. We hear all the time the argument the college athletes should be paid since so many others cash in on what they do. But that's not their only complaint. They also say that if they get injured on the field, there's no guarantee their medical expenses will be paid. If they don't graduate in four years, there's no guarantee they can still stay and get a degree. Players at Northwestern, Georgia, and Georgia Tech took part in the All Players United pledge. The NCAA seemed surprisingly understanding, saying as a higher education association, the NCAA supports open and civil debate regarding all aspects of college athletics. But it didn't seem like they were open to talking about it after the Georgia Tech game, where about 10 players participated. Protest. This was head coach Paul Johnson's response. And, uh, I, I can assure you that, that now that I'm aware of it, we'll talk to them about it. Two players from two different schools who said they wanted to talk to CNN about the pledge later pulled out of the interviews. We caught up with one player who participated, even though a team handler tried to discourage us from talking about it. Oh, I might get in some trouble with the, I know there are guys out there that don't go to Georgia Tech and, you know, and don't have the academics to fall back and things like that. So, uh, you know, just, you know, looking out for everybody. Huma later told CNN that as far as he knows, no players have been disciplined for participating. So on the field, she's here in the studio, Sarah Gannam. So what is this about? Is this about being paid or this is about something else? Well, it's partly about that. But every person I've talked to who is an advocate for NCAA reform has told me their number one concern is concussions and number two, education. And the two play into each other because if a player is injured on the field and thinks they might lose their scholarship, they're less likely to report. It's something that uh, Pennsylvania Congressman Charlie Dent and I have talked about a lot because he, he introduced legislation earlier this summer that would call for a total and complete NCAA overhaul and reform. He says, you know, this is, this is a problem if these players don't report this um, because they think that they might not be able to finish mm -hmm. and get their degree. He actually wants to have congressional hearings on it. What are the universities saying? The universities all aren't commenting today. Uh. However, uh, I can tell you that uh, the person who organized this told me that none of the players have gotten in any kind of trouble or been reprimanded for it. But the universities are not talking about it. Okay. Sarah Gannam, thank you very much.